please welcome Liam Williams. Thank you. This is, wow, yes. Radio One, live. How did I end up here? How did I, who left school at 16 before going to sick form and university, come to be <laughs> standing before you this evening? If the 13-year-old me knew I was here, he'd be like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, nice to be in the lol's lounge. Quick uh, disclaimer. This is being filmed as well as being broadcast uh, on the radio, and I had fully intended to learn um, the set off by heart, but <laughs> Asterisk apologetically waves his tatty piece of A4 in the air. Asterisk, uh, semicolon, close bracket. I guess it's... When you write so eloquently and intricately, it's hard to, to get the material down. And still do it justice. So here we are. You are overrated. The Oxford English Dictionary defines overrate as a verb meaning to have a higher regard of something or someone than is deserved. Over the next few minutes, I will assess how highly you are regarded by society and compare the level of said regard for you with how highly you are you in fact deserve to be regarded. The government pays people to go to other countries and kill other people on your behalf. Can we get some canned laughter in or, or something? Because this is not landing for me. Putting aside boring ethical questions about just war and whether it's all about oil, the point is a lot of innocent lives are swept under desert sands because someone maybe at some time had the intention but not necessarily the capability to do some harm to you. You have huge environmental costs. To continue burning greenhouse gases this quickly, to abandon green taxes now? Why, that's like an alcoholic father who has been told to stop drinking lest he imminently die, continuing despite the pleas of his children to drink. Because the doctor doesn't have enough proof. Because if the damage is done, it's done. Anyway, he likes drinking. So there. Apparently, a lot of clothes and gadgets that you buy are produced by poor labourers who are exploited by giant companies to take advantage of the fact that said poor fuckers have no other source of income, blah, blah, blah. Footnotes. My friend Harriet told me all this, and she knows what she's talking about because she's got a brown satchel. <laughs> of course, you'll repost that I don't even know who you are, which is only partly true. According to the Radio 1 demographic guidelines, you are a 17-year-old boy called Zach. Sitting in your bedroom wearing the following. An ironic pout, an obey cap pointed rearward, and a pair of white high tops which are currently crossed unbeknownst to your mother, Lorna, atop your desk. Otherwise, you're naked. <laughs> the BBC devotes a whole station to you. For your comfort and freedom, strangers in far-off lands toil and die, and your children will inherit a ruined earth. You are highly regarded indeed. And for what? The beats emanating from your beats by drays, silenced in the vacuum of oblivion. The mottled leather of your trainers peeling concavely away from their stitching like rotting flesh loosed from bones on the dung heap of fashion. Your lip curl beyond the anatomical means of your hollow skull now. You were a mere byproduct of electrical signals in a mutated animal brain. And let it be known I rate myself no more highly. Lower, in fact. This is all largely projection, which is to say that when I say you, I really mean I. You delude yourself. You are a good person living a meaningful life and you lie and stink and sniff your own shit and resent your friends' successes, enjoy their misfortunes, feel the temptation to punch strangers in the street and do nothing ever to help anyone and consume industrial amounts of hardcore pornography just to get through the day and torture baby birds as a way to negate the triviality of existence and resort to dark animal whimsy to win reluctant laughs. You'll be happy. You deserve it. You're doing great. Facebook becomes your existential placebo. Take enough selfies. Your soul will never die. You. Yours. You'll be happy soon. Your own. You exist. You matter. You drink. You're tired. Buy things to plug your meaning leaks. Discover a whole galaxy of acquired objects on which you can draw a constellation and give it your name. See the mannequin. See it become you. See you become it. No wonder you don't vote. There's nothing you can do. Except you must pay the price. This 
This is your young fault. You are greedy. You were wrong to riot. Here comes the water cannon. You are to blame even though you were like 13 at the time it happened. Everywhere you. Choose your day. Enjoy your shitty job. Your food. You're lonely. You come. This is you. Are you a man? You wear. You exercise. Are you a woman? Non-stop you. You'll be beautiful soon. In conclusion, have a good night. Thanks very much. Cheers.